Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Naveed Hussain. I'm a divorce attorney in Chicago. Today, I wanted to give you a tour of my custom bookshelf. But before we do that, uh, please subscribe, like the video. I will be making other videos about books in the future. I have a top five book recommendation. We'll be doing book reviews, so go ahead and subscribe. Right, so let's get started. So this is a custom built bookshelf we had it made a few years ago. We used to have a TV out in the corner over there. So I wanted to just start from the top and go through some of the sections that we have here and uh, give some highlights, you know. So the first shelf we have is the Quran shelf, right? So this is where we have the tafsir of the Quran, which is like an exegesis, an explanation of the Quran. Next to that, we have the Fudger alarm clock. This has been awesome. I love how loud it is. I love how simple it is. It's just a great buy. So right below the Quran section, um, this entire shelf here is going to be the fic fiction se section. So right here, we have uh, the TMNT comics. We got some Hunger Games, Twilight. Yes, I have read Twilight. Uh, moving along, I have some other fiction books um, these are some books that i read in high school for example to kill a mockingbird and some others uh, in the more recent uh, past next to that shelf i have the harry potter shelf definitely read harry potter i remember my friends used to make fun of me but i don't care below the fiction section um, we have the non-fiction and uh, the rest of this is going to be non-fiction so this shelf is kind of the self-improvement shelf i would say um so we have like tim ferris the four hour work week we have for example outliers um, so a lot of self-help books i do enjoy self-help books moving along this is the to be read section these are books that i have not read yet they are to be read it is ever growing uh, anytime i see a book that i like or i get a recommendation i just buy it right away and then it ends up on the shelf. Next to that shelf we have um, some Ar books in Arabic. My wife was a student at Dar al Qasim and so these are some books that she's collected. I also took a few classes there as well and so this is just the Arabic collection that we have. That plant that you see in the corner that was given by my mother-in-law uh, when my child was born about two years ago. So someone told me it's like a money tree or something. I don't know. It just looks really nice. Below there, um, we have some more nonfiction books. We see here uh, Obama's biography. I, personally, I didn't like that book. I, I mean, the first few chapters were good. After that, uh, I just couldn't read it anymore. I actually stopped reading it. Malcolm X is a must read. Going on to the next shelf. So in this shelf, we have some more nonfiction. These are more like sociological his history type of books, I would say. Um, kind of describing uh, society. I was a sociology major in college. Not that that really means anything, but I do enjoy looking at things from the macro level. Next to that shelf, we have um, some more self-help books, more finance type books, I guess you can say. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I think is a must read. Think and Grow Rich is definitely a must read. Below there, we have the Islamic bookshelf. And so you'll see the Sea Without Shore, for example, great book. Moving along, we have some reference material, Islamic reference material, um, Quran word for word. So more Islamic books. Qasas on the Some more Islamic books. So Secrets of Divine Love was a great book. I recommend it to everybody. On the bottom left, we have my kids' books. He loves books. He comes and just grabs them. The remaining part of the bookshelf are my law school books. 
So I like to keep all my books. I kept my books from college. I've kept my books from law school. You know, my LSAT books, my bar preparation books, and just all of our uh, textbooks from law school I've kept. On the bottom shelf are board games. Catan is a great game. I know I've gotten, my cousin got me into it, and then I got my wife's family into it. Ticket to Ride. On the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but Pandemic. I got it recently. I've only played it once or twice, but that's such a fun game. Well, I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour. If you're here till the end of the video, go ahead and hit that like button. I'll be releasing more videos about books. Until next time, peace.